Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kai from Pyro Kai, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we have a very, very, very special ingredient. I haven't seen it in such a long time. You might ask what this is. Well, it's squash blossom. Ooh, and I got a good story for the squash blossoms. So, they are very delicate, so we're gonna be very gentle. I love them so much. The first time I had squash, it was in one of my favorite pizzerias. Well, just call it a pizzeria. It's, you know, one of those high-end pizza places. It's called Two Amy's, and this is exactly what I mean. You have to be very careful. I'm gonna teach you how to wash them. There's a beetle, beautiful, beautiful beetle. I'm gonna go release it real quick. Hey, cutie pie. You're so cute. Okay, I'm back. They are so, so beautiful. Oh, squash blossoms. All right, guys. This is the squash blossom close up. Oh, it smells so refreshing and it's a very, very delicate ingredient to work with. So to prepare our squash blossoms, what we're gonna do is check for insects first. All right, so looks pretty clean inside, but you see the stamen in there? We have to remove that. So gently, gently with your fingers. it. Remove it. You see? Just like that. Then we're gonna take the blossom, put it in fresh water, clean it, let it be clean and happy. Okay. Pat it dry. Then we're gonna trim it, and that's it. All right guys, now the batter. The batter is actually even easier than prepping the flowers. All you need is one cup of flour, one fourth cup of cornstarch, few pinches of salt and to marry all of that together sparkling water oh cold sparkling water we're gonna add them in a little bit at a time until it becomes a thin batter So this is doughy. And that's it. All right, as you see, these guys are frying. All we have to do is take our zucchini blossom that's dried and just lather it with the batter. And we're just gonna lay it right here, just like that. Let it drip. Just like that. Make room for it, just like that.
To find out if it's done, we're going to have to check if it's hardened. So we're going to give it a tap. Do you hear that? That's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. All right, guys, they are ready. They are done. They are beautiful. They're golden. Ugh. Talk to it like it's my little baby. Sometimes I baby my foods. Anyways, look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, the first time I had a squash blossom is actually on a first date at Two Amy's, one of my favorite pizzerias in DC. That was actually the highlight of the day, the squash blossoms, or zucchini blossom be called. Did you guys hear that? Oh, it's so good. It took me, what, less than 15 minutes to whip this up. It's gonna be a party favorite. I mean, look at these guys. They're golden. They are, they have the perfect crunch and texture. Mmm, so good. I honestly, I think it'd be a great hors d'oeuvre to serve at a party or an appetizer or like, if you see it at the farmer's market, don't question it. Buy it, watch this video again, and make it. It's, I mean, it's incredible. You're eating something beautiful. It's a flower, it's a blossom. It's, it's in my favorite color, kind of amber and mustard yellow. It's a very happy color. It's very appetizing. You see it, you're like, ooh, can I have it? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It just, it, to me, I know it's fried, but it doesn't feel gluttonous. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel greasy. It just feel very refreshing. And the first time I had it, it blew my mind. And now that I know I can make it, oh my God. I, look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful that is. All right, let's get serious. If you ask if I would serve this at a party, the answer is an absolute yes. First of all, zucchini blossom, who are you? Oh, yeah, right? It's so special. It's not something ordinary. It's something that jumps out and, and people will forever remember. Just imagine, oh my God, do you remember going to Kai's party? Oh my God, there were squash blossoms. Oh, that's so cool. Think about that, right? The wow factor. And let me tell you one thing. This has been sitting here for like 15 minutes. And guess what? It lasts as long and it's still yummy. It's still delicious. So it's great for parties. It's great for like an appetizer on a date. Um, if you ask me, would I put a ring inside the blossom and then fry it? Probably not. But if you were to put poles like that, I think it would be quite surprising. Um, and someone might lose a tooth but this is incredible. And I just really recommend anyone who sees Blossom at a farmer's market, grab it, grab it and try it. Some people eat it raw. Ah, oh, I wanted to leave one to eat raw. I fried all of them. Mm. Anyways, guys, I'm so satisfied. Oh, and guess what? I have three more over here. I probably had six already. And this all cost me like what? 
450. What? That's incredible. It's delicious. I wouldn't, I don't understand. Y'all should make it now since it's still in season. Anyways, guys, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know why. Every Thursday and every Sunday, we're gonna cook up a feast and eat together. And I'm hoping, and this is my goal, is that you start making what I'm making so you get to really enjoy my happiness firsthand because nothing makes me happier than eating. But one thing tops that, and that is sharing my food. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next week.